My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a 1970 Chevelle SS 396 right here and guess what it's all numbers match it's restored back to factory stock condition frame off nut and bolt restored if you're looking for that 70 chevelle without all the billet pulleys and fuel injection and four-wheel disc brakes this is it i haven't had one of these in a long time actually now that i'm thinking about it it is a completely stock number match 70 chevelle visit volocars.com that's where you can find a whole bunch of pictures. You can read all the specs and get the price. Not only on this one, but we do have a few hundred collector cars for sale. So visit volocars.com. If you enjoy watching the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. And that lets you know when the new ones are posted. Right now, let's go for a spin in the 70 Chevelle. You have to check out the pictures underneath this car. It's pretty amazing. Uh, body was off the frame. The whole chassis was restored. It's a, a semi-gloss or gloss finish and all the components are redone. The front end, bushings, nuts, bolts, hardware, uh, ball joints, all of that is redone. This has the F41 suspension which is the box control arms and back, front and, uh, front and rear sway bars. Uh, the brakes were all redone. They're disc in front. It has the emergency brake systems hooked up. Uh, the exhaust system's new, has the cowbell tips coming out the back. An all new fuel system. They upgraded to the stainless steel tank that's polished. It looks like a, a you know, chrome gas tank under there. So the sending unit, the straps, the, the lines, all that's been replaced. It has its original VIN number matching turbo 400 automatic that uh, we were told was rebuilt during the restoration. It has its original, I think it's a 331 12-volt uh, rear end in the car that we were told was rebuilt as well. You look up at the motor, it's still spotless. The starter looks new, fuel pump looks new. But the floors, they painted these uh, from the factory. They are done in a red oxide primer underneath. So these floors are all sprayed in the primer, but then they clear coated over the primer. So it's all glossy and beautiful. Underneath this car is a showpiece. The body is amazing as well. It's drizzling outside. We just wiped the whole car down. It is smooth as can be. It's like Teflon. You don't feel them stripes at all. This thing is slick. The body and paint's amazing. There is a chip right on the inside edge here. That would be when the hood goes up. It must have touched it there at one time. But this is slick, smooth, right down to the bottom. It's just as polished here as it is up here. The gaps are really nice. Look how nice and square the door is. That's completely flush. That corner right there is spot on. These moldings fit the car really well. No vinyl top. It's slick all in through here. This is a problem area, but it's all nice. I don't see any cracks or shrinking. Man, is that slick. Just smooth as can be. Look at this all nice and square. Stripes again are painted on. They're the correct dimensions. Rear window's original. It's like something was sprayed on here. I tried rubbing it off with my hand. It doesn't come off. So there's a little staining on the window. Inside the speaker tray, the trim is all real nice. Does have some six by nine speakers. I might have had stereo in it at one time. Uh, so the rear bumper, the pad, the tail lights, all that's new. This side just is, I can't believe how slick this is. Every time I touch it, it's like, wow, it's like slippery. Uh, this is all really nice. Uh, the wheels are, no, actually they're the original wheels. I was told the two letter codes on the rims are the original. Uh, I didn't check it myself, but if you pull the ring off by the valve stem, there's a two letter code. Uh, and these look like they're restored properly. It's silver with gray, not silver with black like a lot of people do. An all new trim, new BF Goodrich tires. Cowl induction. Everyone wants the cowl induction. Everyone slaps emblems on there, but that's the cowl induction with the flapper door and it works. Got new hood pins, the whole front end up here, the grill, the emblem, all this is excellent. 
it fits really nice. Another problem area on these cars, and this one fits really good. We'll get to the motor when it swings back around. That opened real, real easily. My grandson can push that button. Door handle's nice. Uh, weather strips, window seals. Look at the latches are new. That's probably why it opened so easy. This is mint. Door panel, armrest, uh, sill plates, all that's just mint. All looks new. It's an empty trunk, but it's super clean. Spotless metal. Uh, spatter painted real nicely. Uh, under here is glossy. The jam is glossy. Is new weather strip. So really nice, clean trunk compartment. I see new wiring too. This also has the factory. Yeah, this one opens just as easily. Looks like new latches. The jam is just as clean as the other side. Uh, but this has the factory uh, gauge package, the tachometer, the clock is working, the whole instrument panel, it all looks brand new. It's all sparkling, the heater control panel looks new, factory AM radio, the vents look new, kick panels with the vent knobs, all that looks pristine. It has new reproduction GM seat belts. Better open the hood before I miss my chance again. Show quality, all glossy, beautiful, shiny, VIN number matched motor. I also checked the casting codes. I checked the casting date. I compared the dates to the build date of the car. It all jives spot on. Uh, the alternator looks new. Uh, it does have stock manifolds. Carburetor looks new or restored. It does have some taller aftermarket valve covers. It does have the cowl induction air cleaner. Uh, spring clamp battery cables, the radiator, the shroud, the clutch fan, the horns, all that looks real nice. Has power steering, power brakes, cadmium plated brake booster. The seats are reupholstered, the headrest, all the trim, uh, that all looks new. There are the lights on at the back of the console. The headliner's new. They could have done a little better job. There are some wrinkles in the headliner. But the dome light works, it does have the shoulder belts, and it is the original mirror. There's a little bit of cloudiness in the mirror. Start it up for you. Watch the cowl induction, it should close when I start it. Induction will reopen when you really tromp on it. Then it opens to let that fresh air in. It's actually an aluminum radiator that was painted black. That fits nice. Door shut nice. Door's moving, but you really got to be on it going down the road for that to open. Runs great. Very classy color, too. The champagne with no vinyl roof. And just the quality of the paint. This quality is so high, it can make any color look good. But this body and paint's exceptional on this car. So there you have it. If you've been waiting for the number matching restored to original 70 Chevelle, here it is. Number match colors, motor, trans, rear, cowl induction, gauges. Visit volocars.com. Plenty of ways to contact our salesman. I just gave you my honest impression of the car. If you have specific questions or concerns, uh, feel free to ask them. They'd be happy to help. They will also help with the whole process the paperwork, financing, delivery, visit volocars.com. If you enjoy watching these videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you click on the bell icon, you will be the first to see the next one that's posted. Thanks for watching.